Hi, welcome to Wise Guys. This video is on subtraction by hand and I'm working with decimal numbers. Okay, so first question. 4.9 minus 3.2. So what you do here is you just line up your decimals, all right? So 4.9 3.2 and we're going to subtract this and so we just take the 9 minus the 2 and we end up with a 7 our decimal is here 4 minus the 3 and we have a 1 all right <coughs> now let's try this one so we have 5.16 and 0 0.79 all right, so now we are subtracting 9 from the 6, which we cannot do. So we have a 1 here, so we're going to borrow from here. <clears throat> and if you're not sure about the borrowing, go back to the videos on whole numbers. So we're going to borrow from here, and we end up with a 1 here, and the 1 becomes a 0, okay? So now we have 16 minus 7, or sorry, <laughs> wrong, 16 minus 9, which is 7, all right? Now, at this point, we have 0 minus 7, which again, we cannot do. So then what we do is borrow from this 5. So we borrow a 1 from the 5, this becomes a 4, and our 0 becomes a 10. Now we have 10 minus 7, which is 3. Our decimal goes here, and we have 4 minus 0, which is 4. And when you've done the question, and if you're thinking, oh boy, I don't know, I don't know if that's right or not, you can always just do this, add it together. Okay. So the 4.37 plus that number and see if it ends up being 5.16. So 9 and 7, 16, 6 carry the 1. There's 10, 11, 1 carry the 1. Our decimal is here and 4 plus 1 is 5. So that takes us back to where we started, okay? So then we're okay. Next question. 15.63 minus 8.8. So 15.63 and we have 8.8. .8. Now the number here that we don't see is essentially 0 so we can just put the 0 in just to see what we're subtracting. So and remembering that that's what we're doing is subtracting. 3 minus 0 is 3. 6 minus 8 we can't do, so we borrow from the 5, this becomes a 4, we put a 1 here. 16 minus 8 is 8. Now we have our decimal here, 14 minus 8 is 6. Okay, and again if you want to check you can just add these two together and they will equal 15.63. Okay, now we have 82.3 minus 65.73. Now at this point we need something up here so we can subtract our 3. So we know that we can just put a 0 after the 3. So now 0 minus 3 we cannot do, so we borrow from the 3, this becomes a 2, and we put a 1 here. 10 minus 3 is 7. Now we have 2 minus 7 which we cannot do. So we have to borrow from the 2, this becomes a 1, and now we have a 12 over the 7. 12 minus 7 is 5. Our decimal, don't forget we're lining up here, so our decimal is here. 
Now we have 1 minus 5, which again we cannot do. So we borrow from the 8. The 8 becomes a 7. And a 1 goes here with the other 1, so we have 11 here. 11 minus 5 is 6. And 7 minus 6 is 1. And again, you can always just add them together to see if it's okay. I think we're good. All right, so that uh, has been brought to you by Wise Guys. I hope you have a super duper day. Take care of yourself.